The National Hurricane Center has confirmed Tropical Storm Alberto has officially formed over the western Gulf of Mexico and it's expected to make landfall early tomorrow morning. We have team coverage on the tropical storm. Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan has more on just how much rain we'll see in our area. Joe DiCarlo is out in the storm tracker and news for San Antonio's Ethan Trejo is down in Atascosa County where showers are already rolling through. But first, we're going to go to a live picture down from Galveston. Tropical Storm Alberto has already brought in strong winds and flooding. The U.S. National National Weather Service saying the main hazard for the southern coast of Texas is going to be the flooding there. Tornadoes and water spouts also a possibility. Now, Texas beaches are already seeing a storm surge and the peak of it impacting the Galveston area. We're getting video from there and also down in Matagorda, which is about two hours south of Galveston. Meantime, Port Aransas and South Padre expected to see a storm surge up to three feet. Now, we've been tracking the storm all day. In fact, the governor has already issued a disaster declaration for 51 counties needs to be impacted. Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan joins us now with the very latest, Chris. And this tropical storm is well Texas, but the broad wind field is having its impact there. It's a low grade mm -hmm. tropical storm along our coastline. Yep. So we're not looking at a massive surge and all those issues, but it's having an impact here and the commute home. It's mm -hmm. having an impact here. Uh, let's first of all show you there it is the first official name storm of the season. That's the significance of this one is it's going to be moving west into Mexico, but you see the broad circulation pushing this big shield of rain now into our area. And it's going to be with us here for a time, and it's really going to mess up the commute home for many. If you're heading out here shortly, you can see there's a band of heavier rain that's starting to pinwheel in. Not much out to the west, just these little scattered showers. Light rain in Bear County that's now beginning to transition over to more of a moderate rainfall. You see these little pockets of yellow. That's pure tropical moderate rain coming into Shirts and Cibolo, east side downtown, as you work to around Stinson Airport, around Lackland. And then that's more of a light, moderate, light to moderate rain. And and you can see again, just to the east, these are pockets of moderate to heavy rain in Gonzales. You see how it is moving west. So this is not flash flooding rain, but as this pushes in, it's going to really start to create some snarls with our morning or our afternoon and evening commute home. You're going to get the ponding on the roadways issues, the drainage areas, the construction zones, but it's not flash flooding and it will add up into those uh, rain gauges here. Now, meanwhile, my colleague, good friend, meteorologist Joe DiCarlo in Storm Tracker 4, keeping an eye on the commute. Joe, where are you now and how are things looking out there? Hey, Chris. Yeah, we are here in Seguin right now. We're seeing some light rainfall, some ponding on the roads like you've been mentioning, uh, but we're about literally five minutes away here from that heavier band you were talking about moving through our eastern zone counties about to move into Seguin. So uh, we're anticipating a pretty good downpour here over the next 15 minutes or so. But right now, driving out here along I-10, it's been a lot of you know slow going, some ponding on the roads, but a light to moderate rain. Like you mentioned, we need the rain, so all good news. Uh, it is hitting during the commute, so a little bit more of a slower go out there, but just some wet roads, no problems that we've run into, but we're keeping you updated right now, and we're looking forward to that heavy rain about to move into Seguin here over the next 10 minutes. So we'll keep you updated. Back over to you. All right, Joe, do stay safe out there, buddy. We continue our team coverage tonight with News 4 San Antonio's Ethan Trejo. He's in Southern Atascosa County. Ethan, how are things looking down there? Jonathan, it's a little bit murky out here. As you can see, the rain's coming in. The wind is trying to pull this umbrella right out of my hands. And you can see the clouds over here are darkening up the skies. It's coming in a little bit harder than it is in San Antonio from when we left. But really what I want to point out to you guys is this little river that's forming along the side of the road. This is Commerce Street just in the middle, running right through uh, Campbellton, Texas, where we're at currently. Um, and it, it is just filling up and if it continues to fill up like this this could prove to be dangerous for both the drivers as you can see trucks coming through right here and pedestrians but we'll be sure to update you as soon as we get those updates if those roads continue to fill up back to you guys all right ethan thank you sir we will check back in with you coming up in our six o'clock newscast hey take a look at this time lapse of south padre at north beach you can see the moment the showers rolled in and all the beach goers cleared out alberto is expected to make landfall in mexico and here's new video from our chime in feature sergio s sent us this video of a big storm cloud out in tamaulipas mexico that video there was taken yesterday and all day people have been posting pictures to social media from the tropical storm as well here's a look at what we've got 
gotten so far. The storm is giving the Texas coast a pretty good soaking, but Alberto is expected to weaken pretty quickly after it moves inland. It'll likely dissipate over Mexico late tomorrow. And do remember, you can always send us pictures of weather or even breaking news. Just use the chime in feature on our app or even our website, news4sa.com.